For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Is salvation for everyone? Let's talk about it. It's a brand new day of new beginnings. Let's celebrate, celebrate with me. Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, it has been a journey to try to get this video out <laughs> to the world. God gave me this uh, directive probably a month ago. And everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. And every obstacle that could come into place has erected itself before me. I mean, I have had to fight and push to be able to record this video and get it out because this is important because I realized that I talk a lot about God and about having relationship with God and about taking Jesus on your journey and about the works of the Holy Spirit. But a lot of people watching this video may not even be saved, may not even believe that they can attain salvation because they think that they're too far gone or that they've done so much in their life that they're not worthy. Well, let me be clear. None of us, okay? None of us are worthy, right? None of us are worthy of God's love and God's grace and God's mercy. We aren't, but God loves us so much that he gives it to us freely. And he proved that love by sending his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. Our sins. Sin. Let's sit there. What is sin? There are a whole lot of levels to sin, but let me tell you in the eyes of God, all sin is the same, right? We are all sinners. We have all erred. We have all done things that have been displeasing to God, right? And so we don't want to leave a bitter taste in God's mouth when it comes to us. I know I don't. And so that's why each day when I wake up, I repent of my sins. I ask God to search me and know my heart, to try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Lead me on the path that he wants me to be on, on the righteous path. And so I want you to know that it is daily dying to self. Salvation isn't something that you just accept one day and then you're done. No, you work at being in relationship with God. You cannot lose your salvation. Once you're saved, you're always saved. But you can lose your position in relation to God if you don't work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's what Paul said, right? And so you must take it seriously. You must take your faith seriously. And if you want to be saved, this video is for you because I'm going to take you through what you must do to be saved, what salvation means, and how you can accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior if that is what you choose to do at the end of this video. So, salvation. What is it about? Why do I need to be saved, right? So the word of God in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. What does that mean? We are unworthy. Like I said earlier, we are all unworthy. We have all sinned. We have all done things that are displeasing to God. We have all canceled ourselves as cancel culture likes to do, right? So we have been canceled. Our actions have caused us to be canceled and not to inherit the kingdom of God. The Word of God says in Romans 6, 23, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so we see here that God saw that there was a need, right? We needed someone to stand in the gap, to take our place so that we don't have to experience death eternally, so that we don't have to experience hell, so that we don't have to experience the results of sin. And so God sent Jesus Christ, who was pure, who was infallible, who was perfect, to take our place. His sacrifice on the cross meant that we were redeemable, meant that we were now able to obtain salvation, meant that we could now inherit the kingdom of God. 
Because God knew that we were not enough. God knew that sacrificing animals was not enough. God knew that sacrificing produce and, and fruit and vegetables was not enough to cleanse us from our wretchedness and, and wipe the slate clean. And so Jesus Christ volunteered as tribute right? To sacrifice himself so that we could obtain eternal life, so that we could come before God's throne of grace, so that we could see God in heaven and worship him eternally. Jesus did that for us. God did that for us because he loved us so much. The word of God continues to say that, but God commended his love toward us, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is because of that sacrifice that we are able to live each day with peace, with second chances, right? Going from glory to glory. God is patient with us because Jesus already paid the price. And so God is not going to force that salvation on you. No, he offers it freely for you to accept you have the free will to decide whether you want to deny God and continue to live your life as is in ignorance and seemingly bliss, or whether you want to accept that gift of salvation and become a new creation, right? It is a beautiful thing, salvation. It is a beautiful thing to surrender your life to God and say, Heavenly Father, I am yours. Take over everything that I am and all that I seek to do, I want to do it for you and for your glory and for your kingdom. Jesus made that possible because before <laughs> we didn't stand a chance. So how do we accept Christ? How do we get our sins forgiven and cleansed, right? The word of God says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that if we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so we have to confess with our mouth, right? That we are sinful, that we are wretched, that we are unworthy, right? That we acknowledge these things and that we are asking God to come into our hearts, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, to remove all impurities, to wash us, right? Wash us white as snow. The word of God says in Romans 10, 9, that if we confess with our mouths the Lord Jesus and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, then we shall be saved. So you have to confess with your mouth, Jesus, I believe in you. God, I believe that you sent your son to die on the cross for me. I believe it in my heart. I receive the gift of that salvation and I want to be saved in Jesus' name. You have to believe that God sent his son to die on the cross for your sins. You have to believe that on the third day, God rose his son up from the grave and he had the victory over death and that he was raised again and heaven won, salvation won, victory was won over you, over your soul. You have to believe that and then you are saved in Jesus name. Because with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with his mouth confession is made unto salvation. Confession is made unto salvation. So it takes the act of not just believing in your heart, but confessing with your mouth that you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All you have to do is call on him. All you have to do is believe with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul, that God is for you, that God loves you, that there is nothing that can pull you away from the love of God because Christ paid the sacrifice. Your debt is clear. And so salvation is for you. And once you accept it and receive it, it can never be taken from you. The enemy can try to, to sow seeds of doubt, okay? Obstacles can erect themselves in your place. I mean, the enemy will may, may try to block your blessings, block your progress, block your purpose and your destiny, but they can't take your salvation and they cannot do anything without God's permission. And because you have confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are now under the wings and protection of the Almighty God. And there is nothing, okay? There is nothing on earth. There is nothing in hell. There is nothing in the spiritual realm that can block what God has for you, that can stand against you when God is for you. Because guess what? Their arms are too short to box with God. 
So the enemy cannot win and cannot prosper over your life once you have, once you have confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So I invite you today, if you are struggling with the idea, if you have thought about it but wasn't quite sure whether or not you wanted to take that leap, take the leap because Jesus is for you. God is for you. Salvation is for you. And I want you to accept it freely and know that God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. And when you accept the gift of salvation, you will receive the Holy Spirit and your life will never be the same. It is an amazing experience. It is an amazing journey. It is not a perfect journey, right? It's not a journey that's going to be all paved smooth with no bumps in the road. But I promise you, with God on your side, Jesus as your advocate, and the Holy Spirit guiding you, you will not lose and you will not fail in Jesus' name. So today I want to lead you in a prayer. And I hope that you will pray these words with your whole heart and trust that God has the best for you and that salvation is yours. Reach out and grab it. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I know that I am unworthy of your love and your grace and mercy. But I thank you, O oh Lord, that you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins because you knew that I could do nothing with my works alone. But with Christ, with the salvation you offer freely, I am willing, I am able, and I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe, O oh God, that you sent your Son to die on the cross for my sins. I believe, O oh God, that you raised your Son on the third day and that he claimed the victory over death. And I accept, O oh God, the salvation that you offer freely. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and abide here. Rule, God, over my life and over everything that concerns me. And I welcome you, Holy Spirit, to guide me every step of the way. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, God, for my salvation. Amen. You can be saved. Salvation is for you. Love you. Welcome to the family. <laughs>